Hello everyone, Knock10 Zero here, and I bring you Darksiders 2 Death Initive Dis Damn it. Death Initive Fuck Death This is gonna take a while. <sighs> Let me try this again. Hello everyone, Knock10 Zero here, and I bring you Darksiders 2 Death Initive Edition. God damn it, that's hard to say. I'm probably never gonna say that again. I'll just stick with Darksiders 2. Anyway. Uh, if you all remember Darksiders, a great series done by, if I believe, THQ and Vigil at the time? Before they went under. Jesus, they went under. <sighs> Very sad, but... I mean, I'm hoping that they'll start doing stuff more with Darksiders 2, uh... As the game, as the... Uh, under the new company, I mean... I'm really saddened by this. Uh, speaking of... I mean, the series is great. They had a great story, great lore to it. The first game kicked a lot of ass. The second one just beat the other one out of the water and added even more depth to it. I mean, so sad to see such a great series be kind of left to the wayside. There can be no life without order. A little bit. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council. An ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the Demon Lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horseman War triggered the Apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim had countless realms to serve and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the riders' first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four, not war who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence. But one who would save his brother, above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. That's cool. The intro itself somewhat changed, but it's still beautiful. <sighs> Darksiders is a good series, and I hope the third one comes out soon. swore that he would resurrect humanity. But he knew not how this might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. God, it looks so much better now. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, just trying to figure out how to play. Still, damn. Game graphically looks amazing. You know, I still remember when I first saw the first images of Darksiders when they first announced it. 
long time ago in the magazine. He war looked different then than he does now. Still great though. And then Death, I mean, I didn't expect them to make Death the main character in the sequel, but he's such a good character. And he's voiced by Michael Wincott. I mean, if anyone knows who that is, I mean, knows that name, really look him up. I mean, if there are fans of The Crow, he is top dollar in The Crow. All right, guys, let's see how you can... I'm missing a lot. Hell yeah. Oh, death. Did you leave me alone for another year? <laughs> Nick. Uh huh. Well, let's see. Do I have stuff? Equip it. Yeah, Darksiders is like a. It's like, it reminds me of one part Zelda, another part God of War. But I, I've always just liked the lore behind it the fact that you play as a horseman of the apocalypse. I mean, movies can't come up with cool shit like this. Most people won't even see stuff like that because you're just so simple minded. Um. Not. I mean, okay, l uh, let me just be honest here. I mean, most movies nowadays are... Hold on a sec. Come on, come on out. Oh, you were blocking something, weren't you? Come on. Die, damn it. <laughs> Those moves are awesome. Yeah, Death uses, um uses like uh, an extra bit of magic over um, over war who's like raw strength and power even if you read the lore and the comic books I believe they're comic books uh, yeah there are there are and the, the lore behind it I mean death I mean war wanted to really decimate all other cre other creatures of creation and death fought him to a standstill but as punishment, he took his arm. He took War's arm. That's why War has a big juggernaut of an arm in the other game, because he his original arm was taken away by death. And at that point, he basically swore he wouldn't defy death again. Um, did I drop him? Yeah, I did. But yeah, I mean, I played the first Darksiders, and I 100%ed it. Uh, and I liked how they transitioned from using a voice actor who's mostly known for anime. I cannot remember his name, honestly. I don't even know his name, but I mean, I've heard him in a bunch of animes and other video games. But I like that he was in the leading role as War, but um, my, then they come in with Michael Wincott as Death, and I just was like, holy shit, I like Michael Wincott. He's he's done some great TV-based movies and some theatrical stuff, but I mean, I, I never really knew much of his acting prowess as a kid, but when I saw him at the Crow, he put a great top dollar. Kicking ass, yeah. And him voicing Death, I, I, I can't imagine anyone else portraying Death. Now, I was originally going to just trade in my old copy of Darksiders from the PS3 era and, and get the PS4 version, but I'm like, no, I'll, I'll keep that one and just get this digitally. Because I love Darksiders. Darksiders is just a game that I... 
actually being part of my repertoire. I mean, it, death makes me think of Raziel, and war makes me think of Kane from the Legacy of Kane series, with death being the more agile of the two, while war is more raw strength and power, much like how Kane and Raziel were, respectively. God, I love the way he his fighting poses. I mean, he's he's more he's not like war. War is all swords and stuff. And I love swords, and I, I I still would like to know how how he how um, war got death's uh, scythe. The imagery is nice, and the game just looks so much better now. I mean, especially the design for death. Bring it on, bitch. Ah, fuck. Yeah, they don't make games like this much anymore in terms of, uh... This over, I mean, let's face it, yeah, they have a lot of the open world games, but I mostly like games that have this really great level design. I mean, granted, I like The Witcher, I like Metal Gear Solid 5 for the fact that it's trying to join the trend of open world games. But, <sighs> a good old adventure, just going point A, point B, battling through dungeons like Diablo and... And the new Overlord game is really friggin' awesome. Which I will be live streaming actually with my wife. Um, because I would like to, you know, do more Diablo and stuff with her. I just, you know, Diablo didn't bore me shit. Oh, great, here comes an epic boss battle. Skeletons is the theme for this game. Come on, come on. Over here, giant. Come on, over here, you giant jackass. Oh, 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 you, you, you can't hit me? What? What? I can't hear you over your massive wailing and stomping. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Were, were you trying to hit me? Were you trying to hit whack me with that, those... <laughs> oh, death, don't you leave me alone, you're an older year, I'm gonna leave you alone, no, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna fuck you up. Oh yeah, that's right. God, I love this transformation, it's, Wars is very savage, it's like, it's like, I'm not only going to fuck you up, I'm going to make sure that I fuck you up. In style, but Death was like, "Oh, I'm not just gonna beat the shit out of you. I'm gonna make watch, make you watch as I smash your head into your bone body." That was awesome. <laughs> All right, shit, 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 and I made it. Nailed it. Let's see. God, I love the design. I feel like doing a drawing of both War and Death. I can probably do that. Dust? Dust? What do you see? Uh, when I'm raspy voice, people I can kind of imitate. This is no place for a horse.
I'm just trying to figure shit out. Wait, how did I do that? One game, well actually, on two games really, I would love to see as remastered editions. Oh shit, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Ah, oh, god damn it, death! Uh... But yeah, uh, two games I would love to see remastered. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 1 and 2. And... I won't be a dick, crow father. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, and of course the, um, uh, Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate. Uh, fun games to play, for sure. I even got to meet Patrick Stewart at Megacon years back. God damn it. But yeah, Patrick Stewart was really awesome to me. I mean, it was... I'm gonna tell you, when I was at Megacon, and this is a bit of a funny story, that when I went there, not much of a funny story, really, um, everyone else was there with Star Trek memorabilia. I was the only one that showed up and had um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. <laughs> he even acknowledged that you're the only person that brought this... That, the entire time. It was the first day. I had to meet him. And the lines were, were crazier every other friggin' day. So I made sure I met him. I got the signature to prove it. I used to have the video, but I accidentally deleted it because I'm a fucking idiot. I don't even know what the hell happened there. Anyway. Um. Pff, Lords of Shadow was a great game. The first one was great. I liked the second one, but it. Pff, it wasn't as refined. I think it's because they, for one, Lords of Shadow 1 was partially worked on by Kojima, and I think he got the guy who did um, Ico and uh, Shadow of the Colossus and The Last Guardian to help do with the boss battles. Because, I mean, it, it, in all honesty, if you look at those games, they felt like they were an amalgam of different gaming genres. I mean, even... Lords of Shadow was never meant to be a Castlevania game. Uh, Castlevania was more... Lords of Shadow was meant to just be called that, Lords of Shadow. And Konami was like, well, let's add the Castlevania name to it and let's see how well it does. And to be quite honest, I think Lords of Shadow benefited a lot. I mean, I still remember seeing the first uh, test footage that they did for, for the teaser. And the, the character at the time was supposed to be Simon in Belmont, but they renamed him Gabriel. And then... Let me see before we get into this shit. Um, and then, after that, um, they redesigned him to look like Simon in Belmont, but they renamed him Gabriel. And then they used the old design and reused it for Victor Belmont, which I thought was nice in part two. Shutting up! Horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. 
bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The tree of life. So go to Animal Kingdom. Pass. Got Not it. Yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. Don't quote Gandalf. So be it. Brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? Well, why don't you play Darksiders 1, buddy? Oh, yeah. War. Well, the mock version of war, but still. War's powers are intense, even if it is just a, a mock version of him. Come on. So awesome. <laughs> with death. Ooh, fuck. Oh, that's a bad way to be stood up. <laughs> this game just gets more it's so much drama in it but I mean it's like Shakespeare I mean okay I'm gonna also throw something out there I mean uh, the uncountable uh, worlds of our universe swirl in an endless abyss many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss returned to the nothingness from which they were formed but others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation that creation might be balanced with destruction and in the final moment of battle death was banished to one such world in the autumn of its life yet not far from the edge of darkness had death been sent to his doom 
That answer would be found in the Horseman's future, and in his past. Ah, the Makers. Be still, Horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. Troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. <laughs> Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. Uh, I probably should, Death. 